They they doing overtime, ain't they? Eric Acosta in what is, in my opinion, his biggest off season of his tenure as Ravens GM. He been working. He re <laughs> that boy been working overtime, man. Um, as far as just all the hires of the coaching staff, and I know that's more John Harbaugh's part. Um, Cause they been They hired a new outside linebackers coach They hired a new DB coach They done had a lot of people Change positions and what not um, But Eric DaCosta As far as the roster That would be his specialty that, that That's his bread and butter That's what him as a GM Is responsible for taking care of Gus Edwards um, There was a lot of talk about him Potentially being a cap casualty About him being either traded Or released uh, so the Ravens could alleviate some cap space from their, can I call them their backup running back or their 1A, 1B running back? I, like, I don't even know what to call them because I don't even think the Ravens know what to call them. Um, but Gus Edwards is sticking around because Jeff Zrebic reported that the Ravens uh, have reworked his deal. Let's just read the report. Uh, in addition to Michael Pierce, because the Ravens, they reworked and reconstructed Michael Pierce's deals. So the Ravens been doing a lot of reconstructing. They've been doing a lot of that, but um, they reworked Michael Pierce's deal, so he ain't going nowhere because he was somebody else that a lot of people thought could be a potential cap cut, um, but now they've done it with Gus Edwards as well. But it says the Ravens ha have agreed to contract alterations with running back Gus Edwards, who is due to have a base of 4.4 mil and a 5.6 mil cap hit in the final year of his deal. So, uh, oh, let's just finish the report from Jeff Zrebic. And shout out to Jeff, Jeff Zrebic, by the way. He, he going to be working a lot. This, he already has been working a lot this offseason, but with this offseason and all the stuff that the Ravens got going on, he is going to be doing a lot of overtime. So shout out to Jeff. Um, anyway, he said he hasn't seen the exact details of the reductions, but it puts Edwards in position to remain with the team in 2023. So it's not looking like Gus Edwards is going anywhere. And that's a good thing. Um, now, uh, and I mean, I don't really want to dwell on it too much. How are they going to use both him and J.K. Dobbins? Are they going to finally actually let J.K. Dobbins be the lead back <laughs> in, in his last year of his contract? Are they finally going to do it? Is, is this going to be the year? We were hoping it would be last year. Didn't think maybe it would be the year before, but he did get hurt the year before. But we'll see. So, But Gus Edwards, how, how are they going to use him? Um, but the, the thing, even regardless of how they used him, uh, that <laughs> his cap hit. Being 5.6 mil uh, Ravens weren't letting that fly They they were not letting it fly At all So uh, the details of this will come out I'm sure probably by the end of the day At the latest they'll come out by tomorrow But most likely by the end of the, the day today uh, We'll get the details on that But yeah Ravens been working man Ravens been working Chuck Clark gone Michael Pierce reworked uh, Gus Edwards reworked What's next? <laughs>